Reflect RC. Okay, so we got some new stuff. Well, we got something new first. We got a few new things, but for we're gonna this video will focus on one particular car. <laughs> um, we're gonna go focus on the Low C Mini T 2.0 today because we got a new motor and ESC to test out. Um, we were gonna go with the Dynamite uh, 6000 KB, um, which is the one that's suggested for the Mini T. It's actually I think created by the same. It's just what's suggested to put in if you're gonna upgrade. Um, but we've been seeing this one on the market for a while. Uh, I'm sure you probably, if you search through Amazon looking for all sorts of different RC parts, you've probably come across this many a times. Um, I think that retails for about $40 on Amazon. It's a 7,200 KV four pole sensorless RC motor, um, yeah, brushless motor and ESC combo. Now... Let's go ahead and I already cut the tape open and kind of inspected it, but didn't really pull it out or anything. So let's see here. All right, you got your basic, what's to be kind of just a rundown of your specifications. And of course, so we're doing the, I believe it's the, yeah, so it has the other motors in here as well. Um, but again, we went with that, I think it's a 25 amp. So. This should be your, this should have your model numbers and your specification, other specifications and how to set it up. So what we're looking at, we've got the 25 amp, I believe. So let's make sure, do, do, do. Make sure we have the right number here. 2430, do, do, do. Yeah, so we, yeah, we got the 25 amp. So it's ideal for one, one eighteenth to one sixteenth car, uh, 12 turn. It two cells lipo or four to six cell NIM. It's uh, BEC out is a five volt to two amp analog mode. Let's see current and burst current. So we're looking at 25 amps to 100 amps, I believe. Yeah, so that's basically what you need to know. It kind of gives you the instructions on how to connect it, turn it on, that kind of stuff. And then you've got your program card um if you go with this route you you can get a program card i believe for it um not 100 i'll have to look up that but i think that's what i remember reading on it i have to double check um if not there are other ways of doing it you can see you've got your typical settings here it's a little different than what you probably see on your 110s or some of your other bigger motors and more popular motors anyway so we're gonna look how tiny this thing is all right I see, I think people have actually, and maybe not this one, but this, uh, the brand, I think it's Surpass. And I've done their motors before. We have a, uh, like a 5,900 KV that we put into a granite and it, we had to take it out because it ate, ate all my spur gears. It's too, it was too powerful. We are going to use that again eventually, but we're just going to set up it for something different. So let's look how small this thing is. Look at that. That is tiny. But... What we're looking at, it should give us around double, at least double the speed we're getting already, maybe even more. We will run a, we'll do a speed test on it, of course. I was really hoping to get it to our local track, or, or I guess it's not that local to me. It's about 30 miles away for me, but um, the local track of the JNS Hobby that we go to uh, was a hobby shop that's local. Great place if you're in the area. Um, another recommendation too would be Broadway Hobby. Anyway, those are our two go-to hobby shops that we like. Um, but they have a dirt track. We were, I was hoping to be able to get this put in and then take it over there. But we are going to run it. All right, let's take a look at the ESC here. All right. Again, super tiny. I think... I don't know if these are waterproof. I don't trust anything uh, electronic that says waterproof or not. I still go out of my way to kind of do things to make sure they are waterproof. So we'll have to, we'll have to check that. Um, it looks like you got your, the BC already installed. You've got, it's a D so you got, you know, connect into your transmitter receiver setup. You got your plugs. Yeah. So it looks pretty, they don't label the plugs that I can see. So you, but they're color coded. So, I mean, you just match the colors to <laughs> where they go. So pretty, pretty user friendly. All right, let's go ahead and start getting this installed. That's what we're going to do. We're going to connect the sucker in, show you guys how it's connected. You do, um, if you're going with the mini T 
if you're doing what we're doing with the low c mini t um 2.0 well, apologize for that my phone makes noises um you're gonna have to have a controller um you need the rx or you know you have to have a controller for it because if you have the mini t you know that it's a two-in-one and it's all built into one system so we're going to be removing that and so you have to have a one that's going to work with this so we'll we'll go over that too as well i think we're just going to use a simple stock trx4 traxxas controller to use for it which i have in the hsv um but probably the easiest thing i can grab to use but we are gonna we'll update the controller as well over time so let's get to the install and i'll set that up for you boom change of scenery <laughs> all right so we went and then got all the parts together, everything. So we have the surpass. We're gonna install the 7200 uh, brushless. We have a different battery we're gonna use. We have the TQ from the trackless controller here. Um, yeah, I think we got everything we need. And we're gonna go ahead and do the conversion. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, we went and got a, the 7200 KB brushless uh, four pole, uh, 280 size, I think it's 280 can, uh, motor installed into the Low C Mini T 2.0. So we're gonna do a little, uh, kind of show you, I do have it on wide angle, so like the perspective is a little weird. Um, but I already test ran it and I can tell you right now, it's a, uh, I, uh, if you have one of these, I would, I'm going to have to, I strongly recommend, uh, getting this, uh, motor ESC combo. It's a tricky kind of a thing to get everything to fit in there. Right. So I'm going to have to kind of rework that. Um, I am running a, uh, it did come with the Deans and it's a 1500 ma 45 C. So it's a little bit higher punch than what it, the stock was, which was a 20 C. So we're going to go ahead and run it here. Actually, a little bro has already come over too, so he's gonna come see it for the first time as well. But yeah, so it's you do have to work it, uh, getting everything in there. I kind of just squeeze the body on. It doesn't seem to be hindering anything, but yeah. So let's go ahead and run it real quick. Yeah, I would say it's a, um, <laughs> way more than double what it was. Uh, we're we're going to put a speedometer in here. All right, so we've got the speedometer stuck on there. It's kind of big. But we've got, right now it's got a max, if you can see the top there, it says max four. 
So go ahead and run it real quick, and then we'll see what it says afterwards. Yeah, that's now 25.6.